This video demonstrates the Soulbox route and load optimization and how to group orders within zones and then optimize to dispatch the driver app. What we can see here is how to plan and build zones by searching a location and create a geographical area. Once the zones are created, we can then look at importing orders via an API or a spreadsheet. In this case, we'll use a spreadsheet and we'll import the orders that are ready to be grouped into the certain geographical zones that have been created. Zones create based on the map geographical area and the orders that fall into that mapped area will automatically group as part of a zone or if a customer is automatically manually selected to be part of that zone via the setup. Once the orders are imported, the routes get created. We can see now that the routes have been created onto the map. And we can see that there's two orders that have actually fell outside of a geographical zoned area. So these are called unassigned orders that would need to be manually assigned by adding to a job. So we can see here that this order is close enough to the west run and this order goes into the northwest run. We can also see that the routes look pretty unoptimized and we can see that there's going to be an issue with addressing this time window due to the location and time that the driver might arrive. So what we would do is either optimize the route from the map. And by doing that, we can select which driver we'd like to use and the vehicle that they're going to be in. And what the system will calculate is the time and distance from where that driver has been assigned to start and finish from, the distance and time between each location, and then all of the service times of when that vehicle or driver will stop at that custom site. So the route plan calculates the distance and time and volume of each order on the run and provides an estimate of time of arrival. We can then see on the map that that route has now been optimized, starting and finishing from where the driver starts and finish from. And we can see that where the driver that's been selected is currently located and which manifest he's been assigned to. We can also see now that there's no delays in the map routing algorithm. So we're able to now let that driver log into his app, receive the orders and complete the jobs that have been assigned. We can then go ahead and do the same for every other manifest if required. And we can do that via the dashboard view or via looking in the manifest list. So by optimizing the route, we can then select another driver and a vehicle and calculate that run. The route now is optimized. And we can see from looking on a map if we'd like to make any changes. If we're happy, we can save the changes. We can create a summarized manifest to hand to the driver or to the warehouse for picking and packing. And then once the jobs are completed, the status will update. Check the next video to see how the driver app can interact with the dashboard and the live status updates. Thank you.